Today we're going to be talking about fault. Now you've been discussing tectonic plates and the Earth's crust. And a fault is a place where the Earth's crust breaks and the two pieces move in relationship to each other. There are two special names that we use when discussing the faults or the blocks of rock that are result from that. The first one we're going to talk about is a foot wall. Okay? And it sounds just sounds just like it sounds, a foot wall. Now a foot wall looks like a certain piece of playground equipment. And I know you've all enjoyed playing on the playground. If I looked at this as a playground piece of equipment, I would probably call it a slide. And the proper way to use a slide is to go down the slide. I know, most of you have used the slide the other way. But the normal way is to go down the slide. Okay? The other type of block that we can talk about is called a hanging wall. Okay? And a hanging wall looks like the opposite of a foot wall. And on this, there is a piece here at the top where if you were to walk along it and you were to fall off, you would be hanging over the cliff. A foot wall, a person using the foot wall would use it like a slide and they would go down the slide. So hanging walls and foot walls. Now, just to show you in model form, if I take this fault block and put it in the position of a foot wall, you'll see that you can slide down the foot wall. But if I were to put it in the hanging wall position, and there's no way to go down this, you would either fall right off the edge or hang there. Okay? Hanging walls and foot walls. Now, when these two relate to each other, we get a certain type of fault. So you need to know hanging wall and foot wall. All right? So now we can talk about normal faults and reverse faults. Okay? So let me just erase my board here. All right? So as I said before, the normal way to go down a slide is to go down the slide. Okay? So I'm going to put my foot wall back up. So here's my foot wall. And I'm going to label it foot wall. And I know that it looks like a slide. Okay. And then my other piece is a hanging wall. And I think I'm going to use orange this time because I didn't like the way the other color looked. So if I put my hanging wall here right next to my foot wall, hanging wall, the normal way for a fault to move, or a normal fault, would be for the hanging wall to move down the foot wall. Just like that. Okay? So what I would end up with is something that looks like this. This is my foot wall. This is my hanging wall. And you'll notice that the hanging wall went down the foot wall. And we're going to call this a normal fault. Because it moved the normal way. Gravity pulled it down. And if I were to show you what that looks like in the model format, you'll see my foot wall is here, my hanging wall is here. And in a normal fault, the hanging wall would go down the foot wall and gravity would be the force that would pull it down. Okay? Gravity makes you go down the slide. So, the other thing that can happen is instead of gravity pulling you down, two blocks can be pushed together. Now, if I were to be on that slide and I wanted to go up the slide, somebody would have to push me up. So if you notice, my foot wall is here, my hanging wall is here. If I get pushed up the slide, 
I've actually gone in reverse of the normal way. And this is called a reverse fault. So let's draw that on the board and see what that looks like. Okay? So starting off with my foot wall again. Okay? And my hanging wall on the other side. My hanging wall, I'm going to do that HW. My foot wall is FW. And the reverse way is for the hanging wall to go up the foot wall. And that's going to look like this when we're done. So, foot wall, hanging wall, and notice it went up. And that's called a reverse fault because it went the opposite of the normal way. In the normal way, the hanging wall slides down the foot wall. In a reverse fault, the hanging wall goes up the foot wall. Gravity pulls it down and it takes pressure or pushing in order to get it to go up. So those are the basic terms for hanging wall and foot wall, normal fault and reverse fault. Now there's one other type of fault that can happen. And when that happens, you don't have this angled piece. That's called a stripe slip fault. So if you hang on just a minute, you erase that. Now what happens in a stripe slip fault is that instead of sliding at an angle, the two pieces are actually going to move in relationship to each other. So if you see here, we have a river, let's say it's a river, winding through two pieces of grass. And if a fault should happen or the earth should break, then the one piece is going to move opposite to the other. And you notice what happens to our river there. Okay? Notice it's not there's no angles, that it's flat, okay? And instead of going up or down, it's just moving sideways to each other, okay? So if I were to have this wall, it would move, and this is a roadway, it would move sideways to each other. And you could see that that would break the wall or break the road, okay? That is called a stripe slip fault. So when I do that, I have one block here, one block here, okay? Let's pretend that we have a river going through this, so I'll make my river, okay? And the movement would be in the opposite direction to each other. So this one would go this way, this one would go this way, and what we'd end up with is something that looks like this. Okay, I'm going to put my river back in here. Here's one piece of my river. Here's the other piece of my river. Notice they don't connect anymore. And this is a stripe, oops, stripe slip fault. So those are the three types of faults that can happen. Normal fault, where, oops, normal fault, where the hanging wall slides down the foot wall by the force of gravity. A reverse fault, where the hanging wall slides up the foot wall, and it needs to be pushed in order to do that. And then a strike slip fault, where two pieces just move in opposite directions. There's no sliding up or down. They just move opposite directions. Now see on the top there, they're flat against each other. So those are your three types of faults. Hope this was helpful and enjoy learning more about earthquakes. <laughs>